basically been having seizures since I was about about two years old. Uh, after like being on medications, uh, six, about six different medications, nothing really seemed to be seemed to be uh, like working. And his neurologist said that he really couldn't up his dose anymore because it would turn him into a zombie. So his feeling was that he was just going to have to deal with it. We weren't um, okay with that, so we asked him what the next step, who we could go see, and his first suggestion was Dr. Ettinger. After doing the consultation uh, and telling them my story, they, they said that they weren't sure if I was going to be a candidate for the surgery. After, do, after doing the, the uh, testing and everything, they told me I was a good candidate. They f found that uh, the cause of my seizures was in my right temporal lobe. Dr. Snyder was the one that, that did my surgery and removed a piece of my, the, the uh, infected piece of the, my right temporal lobe. Uh, since, since the surgery, I have, haven't had any, uh, any seizures, any side effects really from the surgery. I work in a, a stock room. Right now they have me uh, just on, uh, I can't do any he heavy lifting for, for uh, the first couple months, just just uh, as a as a precaution. But after after like a, a couple months, that they'll they'll lift that. But uh, other than that, that's the only only limitation that I have. I haven't been able to drive now for a, a couple a couple of years now. After the surgery, I'll. I'll, in a couple months now, uh, it sounds like I'll be able to start driving again. When we saw Dr. Ettinger, um, we were very impressed because he definitely is a caring, um, wants to do everything he can for his patients. Um, he makes it very clear that if um, he can, you know, they'll do surgery. If not, then there are other options. And his main goal is um, the patient's quality of life. Him and his staff are all very caring people. That they're. Uh, very very knowledgeable. They they, they take, take their time to research. Like they, they're not quick to just jump in and give an answer. They'll answer whatever questions they, that they that you give them. Um, they're, they're very very good to very easy to talk to. He has a great team working for him. He has an assistant called May who keeps you very informed on what's going on and. Uh, she's always there to answer questions, as well as uh, all the doctors in the group are extremely caring uh, individuals that make you know make you feel like you're an important individual, and they all have the same goal to increase your quality of life. Christian met with um, Dr. Ettinger, uh, May, Dr. Snyder is the one who did the surgery. Um, he was an excellent surgeon. I can't say uh, thank you enough for what he's done for Christian. Like, uh, as far as the team were uh, all gave good good information like they're all, all really all willing to to take the time to answer whatever questions we had. When I saw Christian after the surgery I expected to find something different about him but he was the same Christian he's always been and I tried to trick him with questions and he was right there with the answers. I couldn't couldn't confuse him. I mean he was he was just the regular you know same person even though they had taken out a piece of his brain. So I've been seizure-free since since the surgery. So, uh, in a couple months, they're going to start to lower my medication, and ho ho hopefully soon I'll be off medication. So definitely, it's a life-changing surgery if you can be seizure-free after after doing it. It's definitely w well worth it. Be nice to be able to drive again. May maybe have a little more of a. Uh, independent life.